Hi, I'm Tom Bartels from GrowFoodWell.com. I've been growing organic food in my garden for the past 12 years, and I see no good reason to stop. There are just too many rewards for doing it. For those of you that are interested in growing more food at home, I'd like to share a few tips with you to make it easier. Over the past decade, I've learned some ways to grow food that cooperate with the natural systems that will flourish if you set your garden up right. And I've designed the gardens so I don't have to spend a lot of time tending to them once they're planted. So when I'm gone, the garden does fine on its own, sometimes for weeks at a time. And it gets easier every year. There's no reason why you can't grow large quantities of healthy food in whatever your situation is, without tying yourself to the garden. Now, some of you may have struggled a bit with trying to grow food or had some failures starting out. I think everyone does. When I first started to garden, the rewards were pretty skimpy. That's a picture of me on my first attempt at vegetable gardening over 20 years ago. I shoveled a bunch of dirt into rows and ended up with some anemic lettuce and a bunch of weeds. I didn't have a clue on how to do it right. I was unaware of the principles of what plants really need to grow. And after it didn't work, I took it personally and just thought I didn't have the gift. That feeling caused me to just drop gardening for the next eight years. But what I was really missing was technique and the knowledge of how to approach a garden as a living system. But I still wanted to grow some food. So when I did finally pick it up again about 12 years ago, I decided to find techniques that really worked and studied biointensive methods and permaculture and all kinds of organic techniques for growing food, which turned out to work incredibly well for me. I started getting better yields. One thing led to another. I kept adding beds each year, growing more varieties, experimenting and optimizing the system so it became easier to tend to each year. And the soil kept improving. I eventually got up to 1,200 square feet of garden space in my yard, and that worked even better. So then I decided to build a 4,000 square foot demonstration garden downtown to show how local food could emerge from a community lawn space. Once I had it planted, using the same techniques, I only needed to spend eight hours a week tending 4,000 square feet of garden space. This showed me that the methods worked at any scale and can benefit any gardener, even if they're only working a 100 square foot bed. The principles still apply. Anyone can grow food like this. But most people don't have a good idea on how to start a food garden or raise a few chickens or improve the soil without spending money or build a compost bin or any number of things in the garden. There are a million books out there, but most of them don't put it all together. It'd be a lot easier to just have someone walk you through the steps and give you feedback and coaching along the way. So I decided to do just that and create a video how-to series on what works well in my garden and how I got there. And you get to benefit from all of my mistakes. When I started treating the garden as a system and working from the soil up, I started to understand how easy it can be to have larger yields once you optimize the way things are done. It doesn't require a whole bunch of specialized tools or a degree in soil biology. Plants really just need some good soil, exposure to sunlight, and access to water but the variables to getting there can be a bit tricky at first. Each year, increasing numbers of people are trying to grow more food at home. They get into it for a number of reasons, and there are many. Health, economics, and environmental concerns are probably the top three. For those of you concerned about the state of environmental affairs, growing food at home can help heal the split between what you think and what you do. And once you get the hang of it, you get the added bonus to your day when you find yourself wanting to go outside to see what's happening in the garden. For people looking for the most eco-conscious thing to do, simply gardening well and growing at least a small portion of your own food and learning that process is one of the best things you can do to reconnect with the natural world. I think the biggest reasons for me all relate to the feeling of connection I get when I just go outside and pick a meal from the fresh food that I planted in the service of my own health just outside my door. And the feeling of sharing food I've grown with friends and family. If you've ever seen the reaction when you handed someone a dozen fresh eggs from your own chickens, you know what I mean. Or if you've given a friend a bunch of freshly picked potatoes, carrots, or greens, everybody feels better when they're more connected to their own food. I think it comes from our species' 10,000-year relationship with horticulture. The list of benefits goes on, but one of the keys to growing food well is to do it in such a way where the different components of the garden work together, so you work less while creating such a robust system of growth that there's no need for added chemical inputs. For instance, let's just look at one component of an intensely planted bed. When the soil is either double dug or is put in a raised bed and is amended with enough organic matter, 
It allows for more intensive spacing. Several benefits come from using this method. The plants can reach down into the aerated soil more easily instead of having to grow outward. So they compete less with their neighboring plants. They're planted at spacings that allow their canopies to touch once they're mature, shading the soil, and they create a microclimate underneath the canopy that saves water, keeps the roots cooler during summer months, and reduces weed competition. So just by simple design, we can save water and time while getting larger yields from a small space. One of the reasons people hesitate to start a garden is they get overwhelmed and don't know where to start. Getting over that is pretty simple. Just go out right after this video and go look at where you think you'd like a garden. Diagram your garden space. Take a picture of it as a before example. It's that simple. You've started. Really, just doing something as simple as scratching in a rough diagram of ideas is a great starting point. The biggest things to look for in garden placement are good sun exposure and drainage. You can find more information on our blog posts. Whatever your motivations for growing food at home, in whatever size garden, I can help show you various ways to do it well and set you in the right direction for continually improving yields and a pattern in your home garden that you can build on for years. I can't say this is the only way or the best way to grow food, as there are many, but I can show you how to grow food well. And I like making things as easy as possible for the person growing it without relying on any introduced chemistry or fancy gimmicks. And if you give it a little effort, you'll want to do it for years because the rewards are pretty catching. The more success you experience in the garden, the more garden you'll want to plant. If you're interested in getting your hands in the soil, please do. Don't hesitate. You can learn as you go and grow it one step at a time. The important thing is to begin to just get out there and prep some soil, choose some seeds, and get on with it. When you learn how to do it well, you'll never go back. Eventually, the patterns of growing food during the seasons will become something that merges with your lifestyle and really does enhance your life. If you want to get started by watching a few short videos on how to start or improve a garden, go ahead and put your name and email in the box on the right side of this page at growfoodwell.com and check them out. We'll be launching the full video coaching series this spring on everything from planting to harvesting and all the stuff in between. And if your email's on that list, I'll contact you when we're opening the training series. If you have any comments, questions, or subjects you'd want to see covered, please feel free to enter them below this video. So let's start helping you grow some food well. I'll see you on the inside.